graphic design can be just as crazy and colourful as my hair. Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. I'm 28 and studying online to get my Diploma of Graphic Design through Tractor Design School. I want to go through the process of any design project to show you what we do and why. So to do this, I have decided, decided to use one of my favourite projects I did, which was for one of the very first subjects, drawing. Yay! So firstly, I'll give you a rundown on the project itself. The aim of this project was to come up with three illustrations that were hand rendered that had to form a narrative meaning they had to be linked whether it was through colour, subject matter, style or technique and then we had to apply them to merchandise. Now we know what the aim of the project is so it's time to do some research. For this particular project, firstly, I had to research hand-rendered illustrations already on merchandise. This gives me an idea of what other people have done, how their final product looks. There is a massive market out there for this and I could have spent hours browsing, but for the purpose of this project, I looked for things that captured my interest and they think why I picked this image in particular. It is the colour, the clean lines, the darkness, this starts a thinking process as to what I would like to get on my merchandise at the end. Do I go mainstream or do I go completely random? This now brings us to brainstorming. My brain's already flowing with ideas, so this is just a great way to get all these ideas down onto paper. Then I can visually see them, which can then give me more ideas and as you can see um, I've got a lot of ideas. So in the end you have a sheet full of these ideas. As you can see I had four main ideas that I then worked off from there. Now the brainstorming is done it's time to sketch. So what you do is you do a sketch of each of those ideas from the brainstorm sheet. These aren't full size drawings, these are called thumb size or thumbnail drawings. They're about the size of a business card. This gets the idea from a word to a drawing. Once this is done, we look at all the thumbnails and decide which idea we are going to go with. So as you can see, I've done two from each of my main categories. And then I decide which I think will work best. Now that the brainstorming's done and we've done the sketches, I pick my idea I want to go with. So now I do some more research, find images for that particular topic, which I obviously chose horror movies. Um, and I use these pictures as references. I didn't just pick three to start with, I chose more than three. I then did sketches of all these drawings and picked my three from there. That just helped me decide on what I wanted my three final images to be. Now it's time to start drawing. Now I've got my final three reference images. Now we do what is called a working drawing. We've done research in the final project area, we've brainstormed, we've sketched, we've done more research, we've sketched out our reference ideas. Now using our three references, we're going to do rough drawings placed on merchandise. So I chose to do pillows. So I did a rough drawing of the three reference images on the pillows. This gives me an idea of how I want the image to look on the pillow. Do I want to enlarge it, make it smaller, stretch it out? Do I want it in the center, up the top? It just helps with placement and how you want the final image to look. Now with the working drawings, you do this as a half page A4 to get more detail of the image.
once I've done that, you get to have a bit of fun now. You get to do some experimentation with different materials. So you can choose paints, textures, pencils, charcoal, anything. I always go for pencils. That's just what I like. Um, so I did some cross hatching and some pressure. So different pressures of the pencil in the same color. So as you can see, it gradiates from a, a really dark color, which is a hard pressure, down to a very light color, which is a very light pressure. This then gives me an idea of how it might look on my final images. What do I think I want to go with? Do I think the cross hatching will work with my images? Do I want to go light pressure pencil, hard pressure pencil? This is the whole point of material experimentation. Now it's time to try these material experimentations on the working drawings. So what I did for each drawing, I actually used a different technique. Um, I ended up trying out textures as well because I really wanted the colours to pop in my images. So I thought, oh, maybe textures would be better than a hard pressure pencil. But I also used the, the pencils on one of the images, but I used different gradients. So I tried a hard pressure and a light pressure to see maybe the light pressure will work. And now it's time to do your final drawings. You now do your final drawings on an A4 piece of paper. This is going to be time consuming because this is your final image. So you sketch it out, then you outline it, and you colour it in. I end up going with a hard pressure. That was my personal preference. Now that the images are finished, I've scanned them as you can see here. The scans now get used on our mock-ups. So here are my final mock-ups of my final images that were scanned and placed onto mock-up pillows. This is done using Photoshop and a mock-up merchandise that you place your scanned image onto. I obviously went for the pillows as I said earlier because what's more comforting than a horror movie bad guy on fluffy pillows? Am I right? I am lucky enough to study with a great online school who are helpful and can always guide me in the right direction if I feel lost. This does happen. Sometimes you need to stop, have a break and start with a fresh mind. Sometimes you need to ask other people's opinions. And the online course is great because we have forums for our subjects to get that feedback that's needed. With all the subjects and even life in general, sometimes we fail. Not everything will work out first time. This project, I didn't originally think I'd go with this idea, but it goes to show through a simple process of research, brainstorm and sketches how your mind can be changed. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.